Get ready for the one, the only, the Tuesday News Day. That's right, I'm your host, Andrew. This is Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny shot of daily crypto headlines, and let's just go. First up, Terra's Luna token has hit a new all-time high of $106.14. The altcoin's value has surged nearly 50% over the past month, and coin market cap data shows it's the eighth biggest cryptocurrency in the rankings. It comes as excitement builds over efforts to build the UST stablecoin, which is based on Terra's blockchain, with Bitcoin worth billions of dollars. At the time of writing, the Luna Foundation Guard has purchased $1.3 billion worth of Bitcoin, and the nonprofit intends to increase this to $3 billion in the short term, and eventually to $10 billion. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Hours after Will Smith slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars, a new token devoted to the actor was launched. Non-fungible slaps, featuring pictures from Sunday night's incident, were also included on OpenSea. Although it may be tempting to invest in the Will Smith Inu meme coin and snap up a couple of NFTs, this may not be a good idea. History shows that the value of these tokens can crash dramatically, and there's a real danger of rug pulls. Invest responsibly, people. Speaking of being responsible, an unlucky NFT collector has sold their board ape for just $115. 99.97% below the current asking price for the cheapest ape in the collection. Some on social media think cchan.eth accidentally listed board ape number 835 for 115 die instead of 115 ETH. And that's not all. Records also show that a mutant ape belonging to cchan.eth was sold for 25 die at the same time. $25, well below the current floor price of $76,000. The fact that this happened twice has sparked fears that cchan.eth may have been hacked, but hacking or otherwise, the unfortunate collector has missed out on about $470,000 worth of profit. Instagram will easily overtake OpenSea as the world's biggest NFT marketplace, Deutsche Bank has predicted. Mark Zuckerberg's photo-sharing app has confirmed that it plans to add crypto collectibles in the coming months, and analysts believe that this could attract millions of new consumers to the NFT space. The bank conservatively estimates that if just 2% of Instagram's monthly active users embrace the NFT marketplace, it would have a user base of 44 million, way more than OpenSea's 1.4 million. Projections suggest Instagram's revenues from NFT sales would hit a minimum of $1.7 billion to as high as $8 billion per year. And finally, Greenpeace is spearheading a new campaign that calls on Bitcoin to abandon its proof-of-work blockchain and move to a more environmentally friendly consensus mechanism. The Change the Code, Not the Climate campaign claims that adapting Bitcoin's software code would reduce the amount of energy that the network uses by 99.9%. It also says that it would take just 30 people to agree on switching to a low-energy protocol, insisting Key miners, exchanges, and core developers who build and contribute to Bitcoin's code have the power to stop harming the planet. Pointing to Ethereum's switch to proof of stake, the campaign asks, Ethereum is changing its code, many others use less energy, why isn't Bitcoin? And why aren't you liking this video, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and clicking on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live? Why? And if you want to meet someone who's wavy gravy, allow me to introduce you to Alex. Ask Alex in the description below if you have any questions about our headlines or about crypto in general. And again, I've been your host Andrew, these have been your headlines, and we'll see ya tomorrow.